it was, I mean, my very first performance was definitely school. Uh, in Halifax, I went to this weird uh, independent school run by a bunch of hippies, including my mom. That was like an experiment with Dalhousie University and like cooperative education. So we did plays all the time and we would write the plays based on storybooks and blah, 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 blah. But I was one of the young kids who like could learn all the lines and knew all the things uh, and was really intense. So even before I was old enough to have real parts in the show. I actually don't even know if I was going to the school yet or if my mom was just running it. And I got to be a mouse in some show and a maypole dancer. And then all of a sudden the next year, I was like the person who said all the lines. But those were really ridiculous school shows at Dalhousie University <laughs> that I did when I was a kid. <laughs> Amazing. And James? Uh, I, I, my first would have been in high school. Um, I joined the musical, which was sort of a big deal at my school. Like, uh, when I went to high school, our football team never won a game for four years that I went there. But our, we were like this this musical theater, like virtuoso program. So I joined that. Because and why the, did you join? Because I really wanted to meet a girl and hang out with a girl as much as I can. And you had to rehearse after school a lot. So you know, it was just kind of a way to meet her. So we did. Uh, I joined the musical and it was a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. And uh, nothing happened with the girl, but I just kind of liked the vibe. Like it was just like, oh, we get to kind of, we have purpose here. We do stuff. Theater is fun. So that's kind of what hooked me in. And then from there, I never stopped. So did amazing. Plays every Smart. Every yeah. Yeah. Smart. I feel like that's a lot of reason why people join theater because you get to, you get to kiss people sometimes and you get to, to uh, act across your, your school crush versus playing football where you just smash your heads against other people's heads, which yeah. <laughs> isn't as, isn't as fun. <laughs> no, never fun. understood that. More prestige yes. in that. <laughs> I, I like the fact, Julia, that uh, you mentioned that uh, when you, I think you said when you were 10, you saw cats and then you wanted to be a dancing cat, but then you also mentioned that you, you had played a mouse too. I so. played a mouse, and it was when I was four, I saw cats. That was, I don't think it would have affected me as as much when I was 10 because I don't know at four those dancing cats are real impressive they're great how'd you feel about the movie I haven't watched it good for you smart life decision probably yeah. I am one of those weird people who will still defend cats I know it's weird and stupid but I can sing the whole thing and I love it um which is surprising to people as a Shakespeare person sometimes I think uh, and, and I don't know, at some point I'll get really drunk and watch that movie probably, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just turn it into a drinking game or something. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be right. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember who you played in a funny way to the forum, James? I played, um, one of the soldiers, um, that, uh, we just, you know, we were a chorus member and we had these funny bits it was quite impressive of a production. We had three houses as sets. It was, you know, my my high school was great for that. So, like, uh, and that one's a fun musical. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that's really yeah. nice. So, th those were your uh, what we'd call probably your first amateur performances. When did you make the leap to pro? So, question is, do you remember what your first paid anything was that you did? Uh, mine was in still when I worked. Uh, I was about 19 years old and I worked for the resurgence theater company and we did love's labor's loss and measure for measure. And I played like, you know, dull the constable and I played a small role in measure for measure. And that was like, I do remember getting my first paycheck for acting. That was really cool. Um, wasn't much, but it was something. Yeah. I think I might've done some when I was younger, but the first like real professional job that I got on my own and I was really proud of, I uh, was straight out of theater school and I played Audrey in a production of As You Like It um, in Brampton. Brampton? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and a really great cast. A lot of my closest friends came from that. In fact, the people who introduced me to James uh, came out of that show. So it was a really special show. Yeah. And Audrey oh, was a fun character. <laughs> I always find uh, whether it's an acting gig or or in the stand up world, the first time you get paid, it almost feels like too good to be true, or it feels like, are you sure? Like I like I just had the most fun time ever doing the thing that I love, and you're gonna give me money for that? Like <laughs> it's such a it's a great feeling, and then and then it becomes a struggle to make that consistent <laughs> pay coming through. But like in in stand up, it's like I just did seven minutes and got paid. $20. What's the, like, I don't, what does that work out to? That's like a, 
uh, I don't know how the math works on that, but what is that? $120 an hour. That's pretty good. Okay. And the, cha the challenge is finding more of those seven minutes throughout your week and then, and, yeah. and then doing that. So don't forget the um, those are part of the pain, right? So like, Say that again. Don't forget the drink tickets. Those are part of the payment. Drink right? tickets, chicken wings, <laughs> sometimes little nuggets of weed. You never know what you're going to get. You get a little bit of, get a little bit of everything, which <laughs> we're all very appreciated. Uh, appreciated. I love it.